Wayne Hills High School for today's Crosstown Rivalry Baseball matchup between the Wayne Valley Indians and your Wayne Hills Patriots. Alongside Jason Hook, I am Noah Sandler as we bring you this matchup right here on Wayne Hills TV. The Wayne Valley Indians are entering into today's game with a 10-3 record and your Wayne Hills Patriots are 5-6. So hopefully we'll get a good game today and Hills can keep up with Valley. So now let's take a look at a scouting report on Wayne Valley. As I said, their record is 10-3. And their batting leader is Nick Luzzi with a 575 batting average, 23 hits, and 12 RBIs on the year. And the pitching leader is Ryan Bile. He is not starting today, but only five earned runs all season with a 109 ERA and 39 strikeouts. Now, Jason, who is your key player for the Wayne Hills Patriots? My key player is the big dog on the bump, Lucas Ricky. Uh, he's done a great job all season long with his 3-6 ERA. I mean, he's doing a great job all around 16 strikeouts in just a few games pitched, but... I'm expecting a lot from him today just because of the amount of velocity and control that he has on the ball. And my key player is Steven Cubis, the outfielder. He has a 342 batting average on the year with 13 hits and 8 RBIs. So he's one of the star players of this Wayne Hills Patriots today. Get, uh, Wayne Hills Patriots teams. So hopefully he'll have a great game today so they can keep up with, it, with the Wayne Valley Indians. So that is all we have for our pregame show today. But we will be back with all of the action in just a moment. And now, welcome back to Wayne Hills High Schoolers. We are ready to go here in this Crosstown Rivalry matchup leading off for the Wayne Valley Indians is Ryan Bile with Lucas Ricky on the mound. And here's the first pitch in for a strike, and this game is underway. Ryan Bile, one of the star players of this Wayne Valley team, a senior. And now here's pitch number two, and he lines this one, running in towards center and chasing after it. And in for the nice easy catch in left field. And that's how you want to start the game. I mean, from either side, you really want to start the game like that. Ryan Bile comes out swinging immediately. You got to show that confidence, but also you want to start off the game with just two pitches in and out for the Wayne Hills Patriots. So the confidence is high for both these teams. And now up to bat is Gavin Bopile and 1-0 count. And here's that one's in for a strike. 1-1 one, one count. And a high pitch outside, ball number two. Lucas Ricky taking his time in between pitches, kind of regrouping with a 2-1 count, one out. And that is a low pitch and got by the catcher, Arrego. Put him at 3-1. Hey, want the baseball? Be ready. Be ready. Prep stuff. And on a three-one count, that one is fouled up. Full count now. Full count for Lucas Ricky. Pitching to Gavin Bopbile. And a high pitch, and he walked him. And Bopbile shows some great plate vision over there. I mean, starts off with a 3 1 count. He does take the strike off the foul, but in the end, on a 3 2 count, he makes the great decision of taking it and drawing that walk. And now up to bat for the Indians is Andrew Christian, the starting pitcher for today's game. First pitch is high for a 1 0 count. And another pitch up and away. 
good. No stress. No stress. Go AC. Andrew Christian batting 342 on the year with 13 hits and 9 RBIs. And he swings at that one. Strike one. Throws it to first. But Bob Bile got back, no problem. Gavin Bob Bile, no stolen bases on the year. And he lines this one to the shortstop to Barada. Flicks it up to Oppenheim, trying to turn two, unable to. And now, two outs here in the top of the first. And now up to bat for the Indians is Grant Legras. Takes that first pitch in for a strike. And now a high pitch in for ball one. One one count, two out, Sky on first. That's number twenty, Joey Capizano pinch running at first for the Indians. Ricky's thrown over there a couple times. Capizano with one stolen base from the air. Now he'll run and he'll drive this one out towards left field. Chasing back towards the wall, and Cubis is able to make the catch in center field. Steven Cubis showing off that speed, and you know what? You need a guy like that in center field. He can get under the ball, make that catch, and he shows it there. Got an early jump, and he was able to get there to make the catch in left center. So that will do it for the top of the first. And as we head to the bottom, Andrew Christian will come to the mound. And now leading up, now leading off the bottom of the first is going to be Casey Barada with Andrew Christian making his start on the mound today. Barada batting 351 on the year with 13 hits and three RBIs. Four of those hits has gone for extra bases. And he swings at that first pitch, 0-1 count. Swings down and away, 0-2 count early on in this at bat. And now a little pitch, watch that one. But the catcher was able to stop it. And he swings at that one and he fouls it off. One, two count. Two count. No, 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 no. 
Swing said that one, he lines it to the shortstop, unable to handle it. Now, that will be an error on the shortstop, Tristan Dowson for the Wayne Valley Indians, and Murata is able to make it safely the first. And though he started off behind the count in 0-2, he was able to draw those two balls, he was able to get on base, and that's what you want, a fast player like Barada getting on base to start off that inning. And now Dean Cura up to bat for the Wayne Hills Patriots. And he swings at that one, foul ball. Cura batting 303 on the year with 10 hits, two RBIs. Through 33 at bats. Now, 0-1 count. With Barada on first. And he watched that one go away. 1-1. One, one. And he swings at this one. Ground ball to the pitcher. And for the nice easy put out. But Barada is able to make it to second. So on the fielder's choice, Dean Cura moved Barada over to second. Blue, you want the ball? Now with one out, coming up to bat for the Wayne Hills Patriots is Steven Cubis, my key player for today's game. As I said, as I said in the pregame, Cubis batting 341 on the year with uh, 20 uh, with 13 hits and eight RBIs. There you go, get on that, get on that. He watches that one in for strike one. Now with Barada on second. And Cubis watches that one go up and away, 1-1. One, one. And he swings at that one, 1-2 one, count. One out, Barada at second in scoring position. Now here's the pitch. Watches that one go away to make it a 2-2 two, two count. And he swings at that one, but he fouled it off. Wild pitch. And now the throw, unable to make it. Now coming home. From third is Barada, and the Wayne Hills Patriots are on the board. On the error. On Wayne Valley. These Hills base runners have great eyesight, great heads up base running from Casey Barada there. Going home after turning three, we saw a similar play with Dean here on the walk off against West Milford. So it's clear that Coach Abay has been telling his players, you gotta have that heads up base running, you gotta be looking where the ball is at all times because you just saw it right there, and now Wayne Hill is doing a great job putting themselves on the board. And now Arrego swings at that one, and that one goes foul. CJ Arrego up to the plate, batting 226 on the year with seven hits, eight RBIs. Now 0-1 count, still only one out, with Cubis at first after he reached first on an error. And time called by Orega. And now a low pitch. And running is Cubis, and he'll easily be able to take second standing up. That one got away from the catcher there.
And he swings at that one, took a rip, unable to make content, contact. And now another low pitch. Cubas thought about taking third, but catcher was able to handle that one. High pitch, full count to CJ Arrego. And he takes a swing at that one out towards left field, chasing after it is the left fielder and unable to make the catch. Now rounding around third is Cubis. He'll make it home safely. Running is Arrego. And he makes it to third in time. An RBI triple for number four, CJ Arrego for the Wayne Hills Patriots to make it two nothing. And you saw it there, he was swinging from the fences. The second he made contact, that ball was up in the air. And if it wasn't for those bars on the dugout, that could have been out of play. That could have been a home run from CJ Arrego if it didn't hit off the dugout. So, I mean, so an insane showing of power there. And now Wayne Hill's in great position with a 2-0 lead and only one out here in the bottom of the first. And now, coach of Wayne Valley is gonna wanna talk this one over with number 34, AJ Delfini, up to the plate for the Patriots. Now Delfini up AJ. to the plate. Wayne Hills Patriots with a two nothing lead, one out, and this one is up for a fly ball. Watch out. Watch out. You're alive, kid. Stay swell. And that one came right towards us down the first baseline. <sighs> oh, one count, one out. And he swings out of that one. Oh, two. And they'll take that one in for a ball, one, two. Come on, Vandy. Swings at that one. Stay in there, kid. And fouls it off. Watches that one go outside. 2 2 count. Still only one out with CJ Arrego on third. And he fouls that one off again. Delfini fighting through this at bat. And he strikes out. Put together a nice at bat, but struck out on that one now. Two outs. Wayne Hills Patriots with a 2 0 lead. Now up to bat is Corey Mulholland. And 
And that one goes in for a strike. LaHolland with five hits on the year through 16 at bats. The junior. And he swings at that one, fouls it off, 0-2 count. One more pitch. And the Wayne Valley Indians can get out of this half inning. And he watches that one go outside. Ball one. And he grounds that one to the shortstop. Now in for the throw. And it, it goes away from the first baseman. And a run will score. Three nothing. Another error on the Wayne Valley Indians. So Dowson did have to make a tough throw there. Stepped on second and had an awkward throwing angle there. Just got past Rude at first base. But I mean, I know the Patriots are not complaining. Going up three nothing now here in the first as Cuba scores. And now throws it back to first, not in time. Up to bat now for the Patriots is number 25, Gavin DiNardo. And watches that one go high. So Andrew Christian throwing a lot of pitches in this first inning for the Wayne Valley Indians. They, they'll have to go to the bullpen early. And now running is Mulholland and won't make a throw and he'll reach second safely. And he fouls that one off behind the Wayne Valley dugout. Come on, Norris. Come on, Norris. Come on, Marty. Come on, Marty. Come on, Come on, And now running to third is Mulholland. And he'll reach third safely. Bunch of stolen bases so far in this game. You know, Mulholland's got speed, so it's not surprising he was able to swipe that first bag. But the confidence you got to have to swipe third after going two, and now with a 3-1 count, they're looking really good with runner in scoring position. And he swings at that one, fault count. Fault count, two out, with a guy on third. Let's go, Nards. And he swings at that one, just staying in that bat. So Gavin DiNardo fighting through this at bat, got it to a full count. And he swings at that one and that one goes foul. Right in the direction of our third base camera operator, T-Bone Thomas Emmerich. It's Thomas T-Bone er, Emmer. The nickname comes after the first name. Thomas T-Bone Emmer. So still a full count. And he fouls that one off. Tenardo is just looking to get one more run in there for the Wayne Hills Patriots. I mean, up in the good charity run, especially full count here. Good hold! And they're going to say he didn't swing at that one, so that'll go in for ball four. Now man on first and third. Now up to bat. Is going to be Tony Vaca. No, good lead. Takes the first pitch in down low. And now running is Donardo, and he'll make it in time. Great look there by Dowson at shortstop. Mulholland looked to get that double seal off and take home, but Dowson was right there with that educated play, making sure he didn't take. 
He swings at that one. Make it a one two count for Tony Baca. Let's go. What did they be? Hey, kid. Hey, Tony. Hey, Tony. Come on, Tony. Put a point. And he fouls off that one. Yes, sir, Tony. Catch. Final Come on, Tony, babe. Hey, Tony. Come on, Tony. Still a one two count. Come on, put it in my Come on, Tony. Good luck. And they're going to say he took that one in for a strike three, and that'll do it for this half inning, a very successful half inning for the Wayne Hills Patriots, up three nothing. So we will be back for the second in just a moment. And now welcome back for the second inning, Lucas Ricky back out on to the mound after that first inning, the Wayne Hills Patriots with a three nothing lead over the Wayne Valley Indians. And that first pitch got near Brett Mandler, number seven. Now a 1-0 count. And he watches that one go inside for strike one. One is fouled off. Two two count. So that is Nick Luzzi up to bat. Batting 575 on the year with 23 hits and 12 RBIs. So he is a dangerous hitter for the Indians. And he grounds that one to Oppenheim at second. And in for the nice easy play to first to A.J. Delfini. One out. First putt, first pitch high and away. Now up to bat is Jake Rood for the Indians. The senior. Batting 286 on the year. And that pitch is high, 2-0 count. That's in for a strike. Yeah, Lucas! Woo! Go get four. And strike two. Two two count, one out. No men on. And he fouls this one off. Jake, you really think, I mean, not Jake. Jason, you really. Sorry, sorry what's that? Jason, you really think that got no, that no, one? No, one more time. What did you think my name was? Well, we just saw our good friend, uh, Jake Tallarico, on the team. So I, we're talking to Jake, and then I just called you Jake. Yeah, but. So you were speaking to people while you were doing your job of announcing. I think you were just talking to him. That is 100% true. No, I think you were just talking to Jake because you, you, you called, called him out by his name. If you 
to any of our viewers, if you kind of scroll back maybe a minute, you can hear uh, Jason called Jake. Yeah, I did do that. At least you watch your language and you didn't say anything. You shouldn't be, as this one is lined for a base hit. To the center fielder, Cubis. So one out, one guy on for the Indians. Well, you know to me, no, I wouldn't say anything on here that I wouldn't say in front of my mother. So I will say about that last hit by Jake Rude. Holy moly. Holy guacamole. So you say anything you've ever said into a microphone. You've been very proud of. Yes. Find that hard to believe. Holy guacamole. <laughs> All right, then. So a 1-0 count. Up to bat is uh, Brandon Van Peenen. Van Peenen batting 414 on the year with 12 hits, 8 RBIs. Now a 2-0 count. And he lines this one up towards the right fielder, Vaca. And he'll come in to make the catch. Two out. Two out. Go, babe. With Rude on first after his base hit. Oh, yeah. Bring that up. Takes this one outside, ball one. And takes this one high. Ball two. Takes this one down low. 2-1 count. And he swings at that one and that's lined into right field to Vaca. And Rude will hold at second. So now a man on first and second with two out. Now pinch running for the Wayne Valley Indians is Jacob Gonzalez. Strike one. And he lines this one to the third baseman now running in and making the play is number 25, Gavin DiNardo. So that will do it for the top of the second. We'll be back for the bottom in just a moment. And now welcome back for the bottom of the second. Up to bat for the Patriots is number 11, Drew Oppenheim. 
the second baseman. And he swings at that first one, and that'll go down for a base hit. And he'll, oh, and they're gonna say that was just foul. It was close, though. I mean, the umpire screamed foul while doing the foul hand motion. I, I would assume that's a foul. No. Screamed it. Scree he was loud with that foul call. He didn't say it like, was. He wanted, he wanted you to close. know. He wanted you specifically to know. No! No, no, no! As there's a strike. That was not a strike, Jason. Do you even know the well, score? That was not a fair ball either. But, you know, I guess, I guess we all can't see today. And that is a ball. Right, Jason? Sorry, I thought it was fair. You know what? I don't need the attitude. And he grounds this one to the third baseman and making the throw in time. And Oppenheim is out at first. That was Braden Peoples making the play at third, number 14. Now one out. Back to the top of the order. Up the bat is Casey Parada. So the Valley infield did go, tell Casey, said, the four outfielders to move back, especially right fielder Nick Luzzi. I mean, it's possible that Casey Parada is dangerous going opposite field here. So we'll see what that means with this outfield shift. And that one is in. Get some kid. For a strike. Come on, babe. Come on, three. Nope. And they're going to say he swung through that one. So Casey Brada struck out on three pitches. Two out. Come on, two, four, again. Come on, Dean. Come on, So Andrew Christian looking to get through a much easier inning than his last go around. And he swings at that one to the first baseman, Jake Rude, and that will be a one, two, three inning to get through the side. So we'll be back for the bottom of the third in just a moment. And now we head to the top of the third. Lucas Ricky still on the mound. He's had a nice easy go so far today, giving up only a couple of hits. Now up to bat for Wayne Valley is number 10, Ryan Bile. His first time, his first time up today through 40 at bats in the year, 12 hits, eight RBIs, batting 300. And that first pitch down and away for ball one. Now a 1-1 one, one count. Go right. Go right. He lines this one to Oppenheim. And he'll make the play over to first to AJ Delfini for the first out. One out. Now that pitch down and away. Uh, 
And now that's in for a strike. And now that one down and away, ball two. Two, one count. And this one is lined and just gets past the shortstop. Number three, Casey Barada. So that'll go down for a base hit. For Peoples. Hey, get a two ball. Get a two ball. Know who you're working with on a comebacker. And now one out. Up to bat now is Andrew Christian, the pitcher. That one is high for a ball one. And swinging at that one, looking for the double play ball to Oppenheim now to first. And they're gonna call him just safe at first. Great job by Oppenheim there. Able to turn it, but the throw is just a hair late. Now two out. Up to bat is Grant Legras. And he'll throw to first. Looking to hold Capizano. And second pickoff attempt. And this one is line two first. And able to make the nice easy play is AJ Delfini to get through the inning. And now we head to the bottom of the third. And now we head to the bottom of the third. Up to bat now is the center fielder, number five, Steven Cubis. That one go down and away for ball one. Let's go, Steve. Come on, back. All right, come on, back. Start us off here, five. Get on, man. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. And swinging hey, through that on, one. Come on, come on. One, two battle. count. Five, come on, Steve. Hey, Peter, come on. Yo, make noise. We're dead. Let's go. Hey, we got five. No, no, no. He watches that one get past the catcher. Come on, Bobby, so Steve. Now a 2-2 two -two count. No! It's just high. Full hey, count. Hey, hey, Steve, come on, baby. Win it, five. And he swings through that one. And able to make the stop out short is Tristan Dowson, but... 
he kind of lost the ball there and unable to make the throw. So cube is safe at first. Though that was a smart play by Dowson there, making that sliding stop, making sure it didn't get past him whatsoever. And despite the fact that Cubis did reach base safely, I mean, he could have been a threat to go second if that got past him into the outfield. Now CJ Arrego up to bat for the Patriots. That one goes down for ball one. And time called by Rago. Felt like Christian was just holding a bit too long on that one. And now, pickoff attempt at first, and Cubis is safe. Fuck up, fuck! Hey, Sage! Hey, let it go! And that one goes down for a ball three, a 3 0 count. And that one is aimed for a strike one. And high for a ball four. So two on with no out. Two men on and no out. AJ Delfini will come to the plate. AJ Delfini to the play with Orego on first, Cubis on second. And he's showing bunt. But he'll swing through that one to first and making the play at third where Cubis is out. A nice play there by Jake Rood. So Delfini safe at first on the fielder's choice. Up to bat now is Mulholland. And that one down and away for ball one. One one count with one out. After Delfini with the fielder's choice on that last at bat. And he watches that one go in for his strike. One two count with one out. Yes! 
And now both, both guys running. And now on that sacrifice, he's able to move over both of the runners. Now two runners in scoring position. When Gavin DiNardo will come to the plate for the Wayne Hills Patriots with two out. Watches that first pitch in. First pitch go in for a ball one. Swing through that one, and it'll be just foul. You, you agree with that call now, Jason? Yeah. Good. Now a 1-1 one, one count with two out. And they're going to say that's in for a strike. That looked like it was way outside. Well, Christian hit him with the off-speed pitch. It was definitely low in the zone, but Donardo taking on a 1-1 one, one count especially with two outs, was definitely the smart choice. And now this one is flied out to left field. Left fielder barely had to move on that one. And that'll put away the side. So the Wayne Hills Patriots with a 3 nothing lead over the Wayne Valley Indians as we head to the fourth. And now getting set to go for the top of the fourth. Lucas Ricky still on the mound. Now, Nick Luzzi up to bat for the Wayne Valley Indians. The Patriots with a 3-0 lead in the top of the fourth. And he was showing bunt on that one. That, that pitch was way down. And he watches that one go high for a ball, too. And that one's in for a strike, 2-1 count. For strike two with a 2-2 two -two count. Now Luzzy calls time. Watches that one go down low, full count. And he swings through that one, two Oppenheim, spinning, and he makes the play. Drew Oppenheim having himself a great defensive game today. I mean, he's been able to get to every single ball that has come his way, whether it's on the left or on the right. And definitely a terrific play with that turnaround to Delfini. And that's how you really want to start the inning defensively, especially on the full count. They were in a bit of a pickle with Legras potentially walking a very fast player. But once again, like you said, a great play there from Oppenheim to 
get that first out of the inning. And now up to bat for the Indians is the first baseman, Jake Brood, and he watches that first ball go in for ball one. And that one is way upstairs, ball two. Watches that one inside for strike one. Now a 3-1 count with one out. And now this one is lined into left field, right to the left fielder, Dean Cura. And for a base hit, that was Brandon Van Peenen. So now with one out. And the tying run at the plate. Now Kevin Popile at the plate with one out and, and here comes the second pitch of the at bat. That one is high. Ball one. And he swings through that one, make it a one two count. Rego just wanted to talk things over quickly with the pitcher. And that one is down and away, but Great job by CJ Arrego to hold the runners. 2-2 Two -two count. And he swings through that one, and that is lying into center field. Now coming around, and a great throw there by Cubis, and he's able to hold all the runners, but now loaded bases with one out. Jake Ruth thought about going home, but great arm there 
from Cubis. So now, loaded bases. This is a defining moment in the game for the pitcher, Lucas Ricky. And this one is lying to the shortstop, looking to turn two. And Oppenheim makes the throw, not in time. As we now have Ryan Bile up to the plate. So a run scored on that one, but still a 3-1 Patriots lead. That one is high and away, ball one. And now running there was Dowson. And he's able to take second. Hey, get big, right? Get big. Drew. Now a 2 0 count with two out. And that one is in for strike one. And he swings at that one. Here's Oppenheim making the play. A nice easy play to first. And that'll get through the fourth. So the Wayne Hills Patriots gave up one run, but still with a 3-1 lead over the Wayne Valley Indians. We'll be back for the bottom of the fourth in just a moment. And now we head to the bottom of the fourth, up to bat. Now is, now up to bat is Tony Vaca. And he swings through that one towards third, looking to make the play. And a great throw by the third baseman and Vaca not able to get there in time. Even you, brother. Braden Peoples at third. Now one out. And that one goes just foul. Up the bat is the nine hitter, Drew Oppenheim. is down and away. Ball one, one one count. And that goes down for ball two. In the bottom of the fourth. And he swings through that one, chasing after it is the left fielder. And that'll go just foul. Down for a ball, three, full count. So here's the pitch. And he swings through that one to strike out. And now up to the plate is number three, Casey Barada. So now two out as the pitcher for Wayne Valley, Andrew Christian, has really gone into a groove after that rocky first inning. And now that first pitch is in for, uh, for ball one. Oh, they're gonna call that strike. 
fouls are fair, strikes are balls. What do you know? What was that one, Noah? A strike. I just looked at the scoreboard, didn't you? 0 oh, 2 count. And he swings through that one. And just to make the throw. And a 1 2 3 inning for Andrew Christian as we now head to the top of the fifth. Wayne Hills with a 3 1 lead over the Wayne Valley Indians. And now we head to the top of the fifth. The Wayne Hills Patriots with a 3 1 lead over the Wayne Valley Indians. Lucas Ricky still in the game. He's throwing a great game so far. What do you think about that, Jason? I mean, you know, he came into this game with a 3-6 ERA, and he's showing how you know he won't let any hitter get by him. I mean, he's got strikeout after strikeout. He has had a few balls get put into play, but, I mean, that's been no trouble for this Wayne Hills infield. So I'm liking what I'm seeing from Lucas Rickey, and I think he's going to continue that uh, for the rest of this game as we head into the fifth. Yeah, I mean, this Wayne, this Wayne Valley team, high batting averages all around. They've been hitting all season long, but Ricky's done a nice job containing them so far. So now in the top of the fifth, up to bat is Braden Peoples. Watches that one go down for a ball one. Now a 2 1 count, that one goes down into the dirt. And that pitch is high, and falling down was Peoples. That one was headed towards his head. Yeah, it's just great that uh, he was able to get down there in time and avoid getting hit in the head on that last pitch. You're right. That's yeah, some great plate discipline, great vision to see a ball that fast coming right at your head. Now a full count for Peoples. And he fouls that one up and away. That's a great pitch, Jake. Come on, compete. Compete mode, win. Still a full count. one was headed towards his head a little bit and that'll go up and away for ball four so he's able to take first and Ricky faked the throw to first Pickoff attempt was high, and nice job by Delfini to Drew, reel it in. Drew, four, four. This time, a little bit stronger of a throw. And he drives this one towards center field, chasing after it. Now is Kira. Now coming around third is Peoples. And that is an RBI double for number nine, Andrew Christian for the Indians. Now only a 3-2 lead for the Wayne Hills Patriots. And this 
instant he put bat to ball, you just know that one was going far. Kira had a bit of trouble finding it, but able to get the ball in before Christian could take three. And overall, it's been a great yeah, start to the inning for the Wayne Valley Indians angle offensively. Off, angle off. So now Christian in scoring position. And that one will go in for a strike one. And now pinch running for the Wayne Valley Indians is Joey Capizano. And this one is grounded to third, and a nice throw in time. To get LeGras out at first, but that'll advance Capizano to third. Still only one out. With Nick Luzzi to the plate, batting close to 600 on the year. Now we one oh count. This pitch down and away for a ball too. Patriots don't have anyone warming up in their bullpen just yet. And now that pitch high and away, a 3-0 count. Seems like Ricky's kind of lost his control a little bit. And that one will go high for a ball four. So a four pitch walk. Runners on first and third. Now, Coach Abate will talk things over with his team. So Lucas Ricky will come out of the game now. And it seems as if Lucas Ricky came out because he seemed to be having some shoulder pain. to pitch is going to be Kevin Soltoys. So he'll get he'll get his time for warm up for warm up pitches cuz Lucas Ricky came out with an apparent injury.
So it seems like we're almost ready to begin after some warm up pitches by Salties. Soltis has only pitched 3.2 innings so far on the season and no earned runs to his name. Giving up only three hits and he has two strikeouts to show for it. Lucas, come here. Angel, did you get 17 for 22? Yes, I did. Okay. So now up to bat is Jake Rude for the Wayne Valley Indians. Only one out. And that pitch was up and away for ball one. And now running at second. And Arrego won't make the throw. Now a 2 0 count. And now that pitch away for a ball three. Salta's looking for his control here. And that pitch is in for strike one. 3 1 count. And that one is up and away for ball four. Now loaded bases. Now that pitch is in for strike one. And high and away, one one count. And this one goes down, but a nice block by Orego. Another nice job there by Arrego to hold that pitch. So now a full count with one out. With Brandon Van Peenen up at the plate. And this one is lined to the right fielder, Valka. Now Valka making the throw. And Capizano didn't tag up on that one. And an overall great play there by Tony Valka. And that definitely made up for I mean, that walk to low the bases and then the full count there. Tough situation for Kevin Soltis. Valka able to save him, but still one more out left to go for this Patriots defense here in the inning. And once again, still bases loaded for the Indians. 
Bush. Now with two outs, this one is lined to Oppenheim, and he'll make the play at first. And that got by the first baseman, AJ Delfini. And two runs scored for the Wayne Valley Indians. And a great play there by Oppenheim, but throw was just a little low and Delfini couldn't handle it. So now the Indians have scored four unanswered since the Patriots three in the bottom of the first. Now running, there was Gonzalez. So a 1-0 count now with two outs after the Indian just took the lead. And that one is fouled off. Unable to make the catch there was Delfini. Up in the bullpen now for the Wayne Hills Patriots is Jake D'Onofrio, if he is needed. So a 1-1 count with two out. And this one is lined towards Cura, and that one is foul. Now a one-two count. And he struck him out. Let's go, we got the bats. But Wayne Hills Patriots gave up a couple runs in that one. Now the Wayne Valley Indians with a 4-3 lead over the Wayne Hills Patriots as we now head into the bottom of the fifth. So now we head to the bottom of the fifth. B bottom of the fifth. Now pitching for the Wayne Valley Indians is Tristan Dowson with and showing bunt there. So Dean, Dean Kira up at the plate in a one count. That one down and away for a ball one. And that's called for a strike. So Dallison has thrown 111 pitches through 6.1 innings, only given up three hits, nine strikeouts, and still has yet to give up an earned run. And he grounds this one and just foul. <laughs> that umpire really had to, had to let you know. I mean, after that after that missed call you had earlier, Noah, he's, he's he was looking right at you. He had to scream <laughs> foul just to make sure you got that one. Thanks, thanks, thanks. thanks. Just looking yeah. out for you. Mm -hmm. uh, now a one-two count. No! And that one is down for no! ball two. No! No! And this one is lined for center field. And go. Thought about going for the extra base, but he'll hold up at first. So a base hit for Dean Cura. Wait. 
Come on, Steve. Big spot. Nobody better. So now, up at the plate is Steven Cubis with a runner on first. Out this one back. We got five. No, go, 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 with the time, with the leading run at the plate, tying run at second. Now a 1 1 count with no out. That one's high and away for a ball two, a 2 1 count. Nope. And outside for ball three. Come on, Steve, inside for ball four. So now runners on first and second with no out. And CJ Arrego to the plate. So now, coaching staff wants to talk things over with their pitcher, Tristan Dowson. Side for a strike one. And he lines this one into left field. Come and Cure will hold at third. So now loaded bases after the base hit by CJ Rego. Now up to the plate. For the Patriots, it's going to be AJ Delfini with no out and loaded bases. And now, pinch running. For Orego is going to be Michael Brock. First pitch down for a ball one. Let's go, three, four. Come on, Ben. Jump, 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 jump around. Jump, jump. Let's go, Ace. Come on, three, four. And he swings through that one. That looked like he had a home run swing. Looking to go deep. Anything works. Come on, Anything works. Jump. Now, 1 1 count. Come on, AJ. Come on, 3 4. Come on, AJ. Come on, And he watches that one inside for a strike two. 
One ball, two strikes, loaded bases with no outs. Come on, babe, win an A-B, Win an A-B, three, four, come on, kid. Avoid, avoid, avoid. We now call time. Rectangle! Hey, AJ! You! 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 you. Come on, AJ, come on, AJ. Come on, AJ, let's go three, four. No, sir! Oh, no, 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 Come on, 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 Come No! No! no. Ball one. We need a job out of you. Let's go. Whoa! Hey, we go. Good job, good job, good job. Hey. And he swings through that one. And he fouls it off. So now a 1 1 count. One out. Come on, stay small. Do something, babe. And that one is called for a strike. That looked like it was way out of the zone. And he hits that one to the shortstop, looking for a double play ball. And a run will score. There will be no play at first. Tie game at four. I love that one. Now Gavin Donardo to the plate with runners on first and third and two out. And that's inside for strike one. And he fouls this one off. And he swings through that one and strikes out. But first, the Wayne Hills Patriots tie the game up. So now as we head to the top of the sixth, we'll tie game at four. And now we head to the top of the sixth. Salta still pitching for the Patriots. And now Ryan Bile to the plate. Tie game at four. In this crosstown rivalry matchup between the Wayne Valley Indians and the Wayne Hills Patriots. That one's in for strike one. And he lines this one to the shortstop Barada, looking for the play at first. And the throw is not in time, and Bile is safe. You're good, kids. No stress. You're good. Come on, 
Yeah, he'll lightly throw the first there. Now here's the first pitch. That one's high inside for a ball one. At the plate is Peoples. And he lines this one out towards left field. Chasing after it is Kira. And he makes the catch. What a play by Dean Kira. Wow. And wow, indeed. I mean, what a catch from that man out in left field. I mean, he's shown his amazing offensive ability throughout this entire season. We've seen a lot of him on the pitcher's mound. However, in left field, you cannot doubt Dean Kira's glove, and you just saw it there, chasing down that ball and keeping a potential run from scoring from first on what could have been extra bases. Yeah, that ball could have gotten by him, and Bile could have made it all the way around to the plate. Steven. Steven. Great play there by Akira. And this one, and one more. Yep. And now that ball's in for a strike, an 0-1 count with one out. Runner on first. And he fouls this one off. Strike two. Dean, Dean, Dean. Pace, pace, play the hole, play the hole. Now an 0-2 count. And that one's fouled off. Same exact spot as that last one. And now running towards second, here's the throw from Orego. And not in time. But he did strike out on that one. So now two outs with a runner on second. Now that pitch is high for ball one. What's up? Yes! And he swings through that one, right into the glove of Oppenheim, and he puts it away. Still a tie game at four as we head to the bottom of the six. And now we head to the bottom of the six. That first pitch down and away for ball one. Baca, Baca at the plate. Dowson still pitching. That one's away, ball two. in for strike one. Down and away, ball three. Tie game still at four. Three one count now. Baca. And that's in for strike two, a full count. Let's go, and Sticks. Let's go, Sticks. 
Thanks to my Drew. Drew Oppenheim to the plate. Now here's Oppenheim. And now he's showing bunt. But that pitch was down and away for ball one. And he fouled that one off. And a one one count. Throwing bunt again, and he lays it down. We'll see if they can make the play. Here comes the throw, and he bobbled it. So Drew Oppenheim safe with that bunt. Now runners on first and second, with the top of the order coming up. Casey Parada at the plate. Tie game in this Crosstown rivalry. We have a good one here at Wayne Hills. Steven, Steven. So now pitching for the Wayne Valley Indians is Joe Napoli. up at the plate. Napoli pitching, runners on first and second. Oppenheim at first, Vaca at second. And Barada at the plate. Let's go, Case! Now, no out. 
Runners on first and second. No! And he watches that one go away. Ball one. What did that look like? Let's go, kid. Come on. No! And that one is high for ball two. Bucket! Come on, three, come on, Case. Nice. You're good, that's it. Come on, three, that's it. That's in for a strike, a 2 1 count. And that's high and away for a ball three. In the bottom of the sixth. And this one is lined out. Back in the infield, multiple people calling for it, and he can't make the catch. And come around third. And safe there is Vaca. So now loaded bases on the single from Barada. Still with no out. And now Dean Cura at the plate. Loaded bases, no outs. No! And that first Try again. for a ball. Try again! And another one outside. Is down low for ball three. And he's walked. So now Tony Vaca will come in to score, and the Wayne Health Patriots regain the lead five to four. Still no out in the bottom of the sixth. Now up at the plate is Cubis, and this one is fouled off. Hey, it happens. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Into the bullpen where the pitcher warming up, AJ Delfini is able to make the catch. Almost in the direction of our good friend Jake Tallarico. And that one is inside for strike two, an 0-2 count. But the Patriots with the lead, still no out, and loaded bases. One's down and away, ball one. And that's down for ball two. And he grounds this one to the second baseman. He'll go home with it. And the throw is in time. And Oppenheim is out. So a nice throw there by Brandon Van Peenen. So one out, but still loaded bases with CJ Arrego at the plate. And he lines this one into left field, and that's good for a base hit. Coming around third is, and he is out at the plate. That was number. That was Kira, and they're going to call him out at the plate. But one, one, one run will score. 
So now runners on the corners. And a 6-4 lead for the Patriots. So now it'll be H. Delfini at the plate. And now they got Arego caught up. And now the pitcher is going to have to decide where he wants to go with the throw, and he'll just let Arego. So still caught up in a rundown here. And he's not sure where to make the throw, still back and forth here. He's caught in between bases in first and second. And now Cubis. And now running for it, now coming oh, home is Cubis. And he's called out at the plate. Oh, wow. Come on. Didn't even look like he tagged him with the ball, and now they're going to call him out at home. I'm supposed to say neutral, but I'm allowed to disagree with that call, right? I mean, he was, he. I'm far away from home plate, and I couldn't see that exactly perfect, but I mean, it looked like he was clean in there at home safely, but I mean, they do maintain this two-run lead, so still, despite that last call, a great inning from the White House Patriots. Yeah, I mean, a great overall, overall inning, getting in those hits, and uh, ultimately getting in those runs. Definitely some calls that may, may want to not agree with two at home plate, but nevertheless, the Wayne Ellis Patriots with a 6-4 lead as we head into the top of the seventh. So now we head into the top of the seventh. The Wayne Hills Patriots with a 6-4 lead over the Wayne Valley Indians. Kevin Salties still into pitch for the Patriots. So now they are three outs away from a huge victory against their crosstown rivals. And that first pitch is high for ball one. Nick Luzzi at the plate. And now that's in for a strike. And now that pitch is high for a ball two. And now in for a strike two, a 2-2 two -two count. And that's down and away for a ball three, a full count. Hey, go get him, go get him. Two count. Yes. And that's called for a ball four. So now the tying run to the plate. Here's Jake Rude. Angel, can he, can he be hitting? The DH didn't lose his his um, entry right. Who's the batter? Rude now. He said he was done, and we met last minute. 
He's done as a defensive player. Okay, so well, I've been coach over. You want me to bring coach over? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. DH, he's still right. DH. Right. Just making sure. Okay. On defense, I, he's gone. Okay, okay. My mistake, coach. Yep. Thank you for clarifying that for me, please. in for strike one. And now an 0-2 count. And he struck him out. One away in the bottom of the seventh. Hey, focus on the hitter. AJ, 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 you hold him. Kevin, focus on the hitter. He doesn't mean anything. Focus on the hitter. Now Brandon Van Peen into the plate. One out, one off. Bring it down, bring it down. And that one's high for a ball one. Strike one. Hey, leave it out. Make sure we get one, right? And now that's high for a ball, too. A 2 1 count. And that one is high. Coming in, looking to make the catch. And he makes the catch. Drew Oppenheim to get the second out. Have a day, Drew Oppenheim. He has had a great defensive day. Chasing after that one, it's a foul territory. And he did not shy away of running into our camera, making that amazing play for the second half, for the second out. And now just one more to go here in the seventh. Now two out. And that pitch is fouled off. So Kevin, Gavin bought by a lot to play it, an 0-1 count. And now that's in for a strike two. And now the Indians are down to their final strike. With Luzzi at first. And he'll call time. On the 0-2 count. Continue the legacy. And what's that? O2 count. Here's the pitch. And that one is fouled up. Chasing after it. And he makes the catch. And the ball game is over. The Wayne Hills Patriots get the win over the Wayne Valley Indians. 6-4 to four after a monstrous bottom of the sixth. And what a game that was. Those three runs in the first. Ending up losing those, that lead that they had and then taking that right back, like you said, in that sixth inning, and a huge, huge defensive inning here in the seventh. I mean, just a wonderful game played by the Wayne Hills Patriots, keeping it close and keeping it stressful the entire time, but they come out with the win over their Crosstown rivals. So a great win for the Wayne Hills Patriots once again. Your final score is 6-4. to four. Some great offense, some great defense by the Patriots. 
And that is going to do it for us here at Wayne Hills High School. Once again, the final score, 6-4. to four. For Jason Hook, I have been Noah Sandler, and we will see you next time right here on Wayne Hills TV.